So something that I've talked about here a lot is the power of discipline. And I firmly believe how you do anything is how you do everything. So you wanna be disciplined in all the small areas in your life that you can be because it'll bleed into everything else. So don't just be disciplined in your sales, be disciplined in how you keep things clean, right? In your image, in just doing all the small things with your finances and everything else. You know, I'll give you some examples. You know, Jocko Willink is a guy that I've talked about many times on here, and he's talked about how when military units start to fall apart and they're underperforming, you go in there and they're not being disciplined about the small things, such as keeping their uniforms clean, right? Shaving, keeping their hair short, right? Keeping their equipment up to par and greased and ready to go, right? It's the small little things that they're not doing. And when they have dramatic turnarounds, it's usually because a ball buster comes in there and is like, this is the way we're gonna do it. And they start to turn things around. Now in the beginning, people resent it. They're like, this guy's a ball buster, he's a jerk or whatever it may be. But then they can start to see their performance turn around, they start to respect it, right? They start to respect it. Another good example of this too is in crime rates. And they actually found that with areas where they allow graffiti to not get cleaned off buildings and they allow broken windows just to stay around they don't replace them they allow trash to accumulate crime rates start to go up and this is actually one of the ways that New York City was able to uh, drop their crime rates over the years they didn't focus in on the bigger things they started to focus in on those smaller things and as a result crime started to fall by getting rid of graffiti right making sure that broken windows started getting replaced and things were kept more clean right so those small things that you do, those little disciplined things that you do and everything will start to bleed over into everything else. Everything matters. And, con and, and conversely, compared to what everybody else thinks out there, most people think, oh, discipline, it's gonna weigh me down, it restricts me, I don't like it, I can't be a free thinker. But what really happens is when you're disciplined, you actually end up in the end of the day having more freedom. It's like Dan Pena says, conventional wisdom is almost always wrong. And like my main man, Jocko Willink says, says discipline equals freedom right so go out there and kick some ass today be a little bit more disciplined in everything you do and keep building on that it'll give you good momentum and this is Kerry Sullivan with another how to kick ass at sales.com tip of the day and I'll see you on the next one bye bye and another thing if you ever have any questions let me know I'll make you a podcast I'll make you a video let's help you go out there and break some sales records